And now, Sports Line. Boys Basketball State Tournaments have tipped off here in the Boise area. We'll begin our first round highlights tonight with one of only two all East Idaho matchups on Thursday. Blackfoot and Hillcrest in 4A here at Rocky Mountain High School. Blackfoot Broncos are looking for the upset. The Hillcrest Knights, the back-to-back -back champs, seek the three-peat in 4A. Conference rivals going toe-to-toe -to -toe in the first round, and Blackfoot strikes first on a three ball from Carter Anderson. Broncos off and running. Hillcrest, though, would build a 10-point advantage thanks in part to Ike Sutton. That is called from the Hawaii Pacific Commit. More from the Knights later in the quarter. Talon Taylor drives the lane, counted, and the foul. Hillcrest back in the semis. Knights win it 73-59. to Top-seeded Thunder in control, up 26 at halftime. So naturally, it was more of the same in half number two. Gay John Taveros tallies a pair in the paint to open the second half, scoring for Pokey. Boise State commit Julian Bowie and Kessler Vaughn showing off the passing skills short time later. First try won't go, but Bowie gets it done on the second try. The future Bronco on target. Bowie has deep range, and so does Parker Smith from way downtown. Yes, sir! Just another day on the hardwood for the Thunder. Pokey wins it convincingly, 77-42. Snake River battling Holmdale in 3A, and you can call this one the Marcus Coombs Show, at least in the early going. Opening minutes, this shot rattles out, but Coombs is there for the board and a finish inside. Soon thereafter, Luke Higginson sends a dime to the paint, and all Marcus has to do is put it up and through. Another easy two. Later on, Coombs striving in, spinning through, and scoring again. Snake River dominates, winning 76 to 36 to cruise to the semis. Teton looking to earn itself a trip to the 3A semis, and the boys in maroon brought it against McCall Donnelly. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Tyson Brown and one. Timberwolves leading by 10 in the fourth quarter. Brown had it going all day, especially late to spread out the advantage. He led Teton with 20 points. Then how about some defense for the road? Here comes the drive, Jack Nelson, uh-uh. The denial provides the exclamation point. Teton takes down McCall Donnelly, 67-58, setting up a semifinal showdown with the Snake River Panthers. At the Ford Idaho Center, Madison led by 10 at halftime over Capitol. Bobcats looking for more in the second half. Nash Humphreys feeds Luke Watson, and it rolls home. At the other end, we've seen Barrett Wilson make terrific plays on defense all season. And here's another, do not go in there! Oh, by the way, he could score as well. Give and go is money, and there he goes into the paint for two. Madison advances to the 5A semis with a 46-38 victory. In 2A, the 5-4 matchup features the West Side Pirates and the North Fremont Huskies over at Capitol High School. Let's get it rolling in the first quarter. Eli Brown fakes the three, steps in, and switches home the J for the Pirates. Huskies respond with Carson Bone. He takes the three and hits. Back and forth we go early on. But ultimately, this game belonged to West Side. Parker Moser up top, lets it fly, bullseye. Pirates take the first round dub by double digits, 59-48. It is sure to be an exciting semifinal Friday here in the Boise area. And don't forget, you can stay locked into all of our state tournament coverage on localnews8.com and the Local News 8 app. For Local News 8 at Rocky Mountain High School in Meridian, I'm Sports Director Eric Moon.